everybody got their own purpose. Definitely everybody got their own purpose. And, you know, my purpose is just to live my life the best way that I can and be as successful the best way that I can. And when it comes with success, it definitely comes with trials and tribulations, failures on top of that. What's up, everybody? Um, I know it's been a while since I looked at y'all, since we spoke. There's a lot of things that's been going on. In this video, I'm, I'm going to share that with y'all. So a lot has happened, which led to me not being able to use my GoPro. So I had to, you know, let it go for, for a while. But, you know, it ain't gonna trip. A lot's been happening. A lot of good things. More good things than bad. Definitely more good things than bad. Just, uh, just a quick update on what's going on in my life. I just needed to share with y'all about it and just to keep y'all on point with everything. So first things first, we're gonna talk about why I haven't been recording. So basically, y'all knew that I was using my GoPro during my, my shift, you know, me driving around, me delivering, me stocking up. I was doing my thing. And I was doing it for a while now, you know, being real, real, you know, consistent with my videos. And, you know, there was a particular day, um, I was training somebody and, you know, everything was good. I had my GoPro on throughout the whole day until I went to the Dollar General. And when I went to the Dollar General, the lady didn't like the fact that I had my GoPro on, so she said, you know, we can't have those things allowed. And, you know, I kind of had a, an exchange of words with her on that behalf, just because. Yeah, so, um, so definitely we had an exchange of words, you know, and it didn't go so well. Uh, it led to, to them going to my boss and we ended up having a conversation about the GoPro incident, what happened, what transpired. And so basically they said, now this is a done data, no GoPro, no none of that, do your job, leave it at that. And that was that. And you know, I did, I did what was done. I mean, even though there was other ways for me to be able to record, I didn't do that because I did like the GoPro vibes. It was bringing on, it was bringing in a lot of views, great great views, and you know, when I couldn't do that, it was just like okay, I'm gonna leave it alone, do my job, and come up with some come come up with something else, which I did. You know, I'm very much happy about what's going on right now, and I'm not even gonna complain. They got their vibe, I got my vibe. It is what it is. Very thankful for what's going on. But skip that, skip that. We're gonna definitely tell y'all what's been going on throughout ever since you know since I my last video of course it's slow season and really nothing is popping off the way it was uh, that's a good thing it's not a bad thing it's definitely a good thing because you know I'm not trying to you know give these folks 600 700 cases a day and do some recording that's kind of tough so basically we've been doing you know averaging like 300 to 400 cases a day sometimes it can be 500 cases it's not bad uh, especially for me since I've only been doing this for a year and some change we def definitely have gotten better you know so t things is definitely flowing the way that's supposed to uh, so during my off days and you know even when I do have uh, or when I do get off early um, I do wholesale I do try to wholesale um, I did buy a course, you know, with Jamil Damji. Uh, if y'all don't know him, you gotta look him up. He's definitely one of the biggest wholesalers out. Uh, he's helped me throughout the way. I haven't had any uh, success with it yet, but um, you know, we still rocking and rolling with it. That's just my side hustle. Uh, Yards is pretty slow, so I'm not cutting no more. I bought a four wheeler. Your boy been riding, especially been mudding. And I'll tell you one thing, I ain't rode a four-wheeler since I was young, young. So, you know, the fact that I got me a brand new four-wheeler in this backyard of mine's, oh my goodness. Just riding, cruising, mud, going mudding, you know, having my type of fun. It would have been a jet ski if it was summertime, but we're not even going to talk about that. So, beyond purchases that I've been making, you know, we just having fun, doing what we got to do, and just going on through the days. But I do have something to tell y'all, share with y'all, drive with the trainer, do some, uh... You know some they it was it a course do something over there but basically I'm gonna be you know switching shifts I'm gonna be doing over the road flatbed um, like I said join the TMC and that is that 
nothing more, nothing less. It was just time for me to get my experience up uh, even more, learn how to become a flatbed driver so I can go ahead and get my rig, do what I gotta do, and just you know enjoy life. Especially seeing different cities that I don't know about, haven't seen, Texas, you know, even though that's another state, you know, Texas, Arizona, you know, other cities and states. I'm Panama City made, this is all I know. I'm just now stepping out the city. I done been through a couple places around here. Ooh, yes I have. Um, I'm just now, you know, just starting to live life, like for real, for real, you know, just starting to have some enjoyment, doing more stuff, and you know, we having a blast. But it was just time to take it up a notch. Uh, no, you know, no shortcuts about anything. Um, this journey of mine is, this is what's supposed to happen. Um, I've already said, you know, once I got my CDOs, I'm gonna do a local job, do a year, some change, find and, you know, figure out what I wanted to do, whether it was, you know, drive van steel or car hauling, flatbed, you know, so flatbed was definitely the itinerary. TMC was definitely the job when the recruiter came to my trucking school. So, you know, that was the first that was the first one for me. So now that I feel like strongly that I have it, um, we just gonna we gonna rock this out. And the next plan is just becoming an owner operator after that. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I believe firmly. Um, you know, just one step at a time. One step at a time. You can't rush this journey. You never can rush this journey, man. You just go on your pace, you know, move your motion, whatever motion that you do have, follow it. And that's what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. And I have no regrets on anything that has happened in my life. I'm very much grateful. And we're just gonna keep going from there and y'all gonna keep seeing. That's basically all, really not much of anything um, thank y'all for, you know, being there. Uh, I saw so many comments, so many people still subscribing, and I thank y'all, and, you know, this is not a waste. You know, it's just a man just trying to figure everything out one day at a time, one step at a time, especially with this YouTube. Everybody got their own purpose. Definitely everybody got their own purpose. And, you know, my purpose is just to live my life the best way that I can and be as successful the best way that I can. And when it comes with success, it definitely comes with trials and tribulations, failures on top of that. And we just gonna keep going with this flow. So thank y'all for watching. Subscribe, like this video, and I appreciate y'all for listening. More on the way. Bye.